What is up guys, Roger here with a brand new completionist quickie. Uh, this guide is requested from quite a few of you. Um, I didn't want to sort of rush out a quick video, so this quickie isn't going to be so quickie. But um, I want to make this a kind of detailed guide and I want to, you know, want to make a guide, I put my all into it. So uh, this is what I want to do with this and I want to explain all of the um, features that are going to help you get your medals and tokens for the Champion's Taco Box for your trimmed completionist kit. So let's get down to it. Okay, so as you can see on screen, you can see the locations um, that you are going to be able to see the fishermen and be able to start fish flingers as well as collect your rewards and join the game. Uh, every day you want to go to one of these fishermen and collect your two tickets that you're uh, entitled to. If you don't, then it won't stack up, so you need to go to this fisherman every single day. Otherwise, you can go to various fishing spots and uh, while you're fishing, you'll pick up fish flingers tickets. One of the best places to pick up these fish flingers tickets is uh, fishing and dropping fish over at the barbarian outpost all right so when you're ready uh, head to fish flingers and as soon as you're at fish flingers talk to the fisherman request a hint from them, you'll get something like that on screen uh, from these messages you get three hints as you can see it men uh, the guy mentions beach uh, bass and gray shellfish so that's bass is the fish beach is the location and gray shellfish is crayfish which is the bait um, from this, you can uh, go into two fling fish friends chat and say the combination. Uh, just pretty much say bass, beach, uh, crayfish, and they will understand. And then they'll put the the um, combinations together and give the answers out before the game starts. All right. So when you start a game, you should have a bunch of compiled. Uh, fish along with baits, hooks and locations from your notes in the friends chat that you collected a little bit early before the game starts. Uh, this is what mine looks like on screen so you can get an idea of what it should look like. You might not have all combinations, uh, you probably won't have all 100% combinations. That's why you need to write down the ones that you can and, uh, you know, pay attention to the friends chat and write down uh, further expansions from the friends chat as people find the 100% combination so you know where to go. These are just to help you so you, you're constantly fishing and you're not just standing there doing nothing. Uh, you do get tokens uh, per fish, sorry uh, you get one token per four fish so uh, what you need to do is keep fishing the whole game no matter what you're doing. Uh, and you should get maximum amount of tokens as well as three medals per game. It's ideal to get three medals per game uh, unless you've already got the medals or you've already got the tokens or whatever then you want to just go for medals or tokens but most people want medals and tokens so it's ideal to get three medals and about uh, sorry 30 tokens per game give or take. Uh, Okay, so what you want to do is go to the dock first, dock or the lake first, preferably the dock because it's the closest to you already, uh, and then you want to move to the lake, and then to the river, and then to the beach, that's because you're moving from closest to furthest away, um, uh, pretty much it that's how you want to do it because otherwise you're running backwards and forwards and wasting time that you can, could be spending fishing and gaining points uh when all the fish have the, uh, been called from the friends chat you'll see something like this uh in the friends chat because they will do 100 percent call after all of the fish have been called and then you want to write those down if write the ones down that you haven't already got uh you'll also notice a menu in the top right of your screen with ratings on it uh you want to pay 100 uh, a rate sorry you want to pay attention to the 100% ratings and then uh, every fish that you, you want you want to get one of each type of fish at 100% so make sure you pay attention to the rating percentages as rating is extremely important to get all, to get the medals for the fish species you need to get six different types of fish at 100% rating and that is based off the combinations that you've been given Okay, so as you can see on screen, you can see the hooks, the bait, and the weights that I've given an example of. The, uh, this is just to give you a visual example, and so you know what the the names are of the of the baits and uh, of the hooks, so that you can you know you can go straight in and click on them straight away. I'll also put a, uh, an image of this in the description of the video, so you can check that out too. Uh, other than that, the weights are pretty easy. It, you've just got to think of the weights as values. Uh, the lightest one is one, the med medium one is two, and the heaviest one is three. Think of it as uh, you add them all. If you have them all on, then it'll add up to six. Uh, you know, if you have two and three on, then it's five. So pretty much, you want to use them to get the number that you know. In the, in example, say you've got a weight with uh, a, a combination that's got three. You can either use one and uh, one or uh, hooks. Sorry, weights one and two, or you can use the the weight three. It doesn't matter as long as it adds up to three. That's all that matters. So that's it for this part of the video. 
Okay, so in this section of the video, I'm going to talk about metals, quick casting, and big fish. Okay, so each of the metals uh, you have to do a different thing for. First metal is catch three species of different type, three different types of species of fish at 100% rating, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, the second metal is six species at 100% rating. The third metal is six big fish assists. So that means you don't actually have to catch the big fish yourself or hook them, but you have to assist with six big fish. That's quite easy to get. Those are the three medals that you want to get uh, if you're going for medals and tokens. If you want to go for four medals, then the last medal you want to get is to catch three big fish. Uh, however, if you're going to catch the three big fish yourself, you can't quick cast um, because you will uh, get rid of the fish and you won't be able to catch it, and it requires you to be sort of afk in it which you know you can't do if you quick cast in uh so now i want to quick cast in what quick casting is is uh you catch fish faster than you usually would using uh a mechanic pretty much what you do is um everybody has a different way of doing it really i personally count to three seconds three in my head uh one two three and then after i hit three i'll cast again um it's called quick casting because you catch fish you know faster which increases your fish per game which also increases your tokens per game and um you know if, if you're going to be quick casting you want to also make sure that you catch uh, the big fish uh, sorry you assist the big fish uh you'll see bubbles pop up in the water nearby you so just click on them and you'll see how many other people are assisting around you uh it should only take a few seconds to do so they're worth doing try and get them done at the start of the game because that'll save effort later on when nobody else wants to do them because they've already got theirs done um but other than that um that's pretty much it quick casting can be used if you want more tokens than medals so uh if you you know uh, when i finish my trim i sorry when i finish my uh champion tackle box requirements i had all the medals but i didn't have all the tokens so i was going into games uh getting pretty much catching fish at zero percent rating because it doesn't matter what rating you're going in uh if you're going for tokens only um you get one token per four fish so it doesn't matter how many fish you catch as long as you catch four fish you'll get a medal sorry a, a token and uh, also you get one token per big fish assisted with as well but you can only do that six times okay so the final section of this video is the rewards which you can see on screen in a table thanks to runescape wiki for the images used in this video as well as this table so big thanks to them i'll put a link to the fish flingers article in the description of this video so you can check that out as well but as you can see each tackle box requires uh, a certain amount of tokens the total amount of tokens required for the champions tackle box is 3570 which is a huge amount that's why it's great to start on that first rather than going for the fishing outfit the fishing outfit requires 500 160 tokens total uh but yeah just remember that the champion tackle box does take ages to get and it is a requirement for the trimmed completion escape so it is highly required to do that first so if this vid helped you and you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and uh subscribe for future completionist quickies as well as high level pvm content cheers guys hope this helped you and thanks for watching if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit the link to the left to check out my Completionist Quickie series, hit the link to the right to check out my PVM Droplog series, or hit the link at the bottom to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy.